They take it slow and easy when a train of booster rockets arrives at the Kennedy Space Center. Unmarked and unpublicized in a journey from a factory in Utah, the boosters arrived this week in segments that will be bolted together to form two rockets 177 feet tall. They'll be the two big white booster rockets on the sides of NASA's SLS Mega Rocket, built to launch to the moon. The new person in charge of that effort says she's not certain the U.S. can get there by President Trump's end of 2024 deadline. I wish I knew that answer. That'd make my job a lot easier. Um, we're going to try. Progress is occurring on several fronts, though. A test of the mechanism that releases protective coverings for the spacecraft during launch went well. And, of course, the United States just launched its first commercial astronauts, restoring human launch capability to American soil. Kathy Leaders led NASA's part of that effort to launch Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley and now finds herself in charge of the moon landing program. It's true that launching astronauts from here for the first time since 2011 was a notable accomplishment. It's also true it was more than five years behind schedule. And yes, it's taken us a little bit longer to be able to get Bob and Doug up there. But I do think we've done it carefully, and doing it right is better than doing it faster. And Leaders says the other important thing is to try. And so the struggle goes on to get Americans back to the moon before 2025 safely. On the Space Coast, Dan Billow, WESH 2 News.